News from Volusia County, a standoff in New Smyrna Beach is entering its fifth hour. A man is holed up in his home, police say armed with a gun. It all started when a neighbor walked by the home on North Airport Road in Venetian Bay and the suspect showed a gun. Chopper 2 flew over the scene shortly after that. West News Claire Metz is there live with the very latest. Claire? Yeah, and the house is way down the street here, but no one can go any closer than where I'm standing. And police are tactically positioned around it, out of our sight at this moment. Now, police uh, confirm that the man's name is James Hare. He's in his late 60s or 70s, they believe. We know he's married. It's unclear if his wife is in there. But he allegedly did something with a gun that spooked a passerby, and now he won't talk to police. I certainly hope that uh, he's going to be okay. I mean, I, I don't wish him any ill will. Tom Marr and many others have not been allowed to go home, or if already home, have been warned to shelter in place while police try and coax an apparently distraught man out. But so far, he has not responded, other than to make an obscene gesture toward officers. The suspect reportedly had a gun while on his porch, and with it, in some way, alarmed or threatened a passerby. If you, you knew that someone was uh, uh, waving a gun near where you lived. You would be concerned. One resident told us it's not the first time this suspect has created alarm in the neighborhood, which is why police cordoned it off, called out SWAT, are trying to negotiate, but with no luck so far. I know it's been building up. They had taken him. He had some problems a week ago. He had police and fire out, and there was threatening comments to people that had walked by with their dogs. Police Chief Mike Coffin, the former second-in-command at the Sheriff's Department on his new job as chief for a week, is personally down at the scene, working to decide how to proceed with someone who is armed and uncooperative. Meantime, residents who live here, including school children who can't be dropped off, wonder how long this will go on. Some more than anxious to get home. Just trying to get home to my dogs. They've been by themselves for six hours, so it's just a uh, just a waiting game now. When we talked to that gentleman, the dog had been alone for six hours. Now it's a total of 11 hours he's been alone. This woman just rode by us, and a law enforcement is asking her to come back because still no one can go down this street or get anywhere near the house where this is ongoing. We'll just see how long it lasts. We're live in New Smyrna Beach, Volusia County. Claire Metz, West 2 News.